This is Mark Dubo. I'm going to talk today about Google Sites and how to uh, edit a basic Google Site when you start from a basic template. <clears throat> so as you can see, I've already um, logged in and created the site. Uh, to create your site, just as a quick refresher, click on the launch pad, click Google Sites, and uh, follow a few steps and you will be there. So normally a site is set up with a home and a site map. So those are things you can customize and eliminate. But before we look into that, um, I want to create a second page. So how do I do that? There are two buttons up here, new page and edit page. So obviously I want a new page. We're going to call this, uh, I don't know, let's call it uh, my photographer page. Okay. And um, there are different options when you create a Google site. You create an announcement, a file cabinet, list, start page, Google site template, etc. Um, I'm going to keep it at web page to keep things simple. All right. Now you have the option to put this underneath your home directory, which home is the place where everybody goes when they go to your page automatically. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this underneath that. I'm going to scroll down and create. Sorry, create buttons at the top. So here you go. Within your page, there are several things you can do. You can insert content. If you have your files uploaded to Google Drive, as we talked about in other uh, videos on my YouTube channel, you can basically uh, add them in. So let's just uh, put this one. It doesn't really matter for now. You can customize some of the settings. I recommend that you don't make it too wide because it will not fit on the screen. But uh, you can experiment here with some of these uh, width and height. So here's my Google Doc. Now, I don't see anything. Is it working? Well, click Save and you will see. So there's a sheet. And it takes up the whole width of the page. And at the bottom, I can comment. So there's that feature and that. I want you to notice something here. The navigation is automatically set up in a basic Google site. So I told this to be the, this is called the parent, and I told this to be the child. So the child is underneath this one. So if I click on this little arrow, you see what happens, it disappears. But it's still part of that. If I want to create another parent, let's do that. We'll click new page, and we'll just call it uh, video page. All right. Again, I'm going to create this as a web page, and here's the, where the action happened. Put page at the top level. That makes it a parent do that and I'm not really going to put anything here there you go a little text obviously to be humorous I'm going to add another child to this page so I'm going to click create page I'm going to call it my first film then I'm going to make this a web page again and I'm going to put it underneath the video page click create so far, things are simple. As I do things this way, I'm going to go and insert a YouTube video. Uh, one thing that I don't like about Google Sites is you have to go and get the Google video, the YouTube video, on your own. So I'm going to just type in YouTube. And there it is. I'm going to click on anything. And I'm going to add it here, control V, copy and paste basically. And the video's there. Again, I'm still in the edit screen. I don't see anything. Is it working? There are some settings that you can change here. We're not going to look at that in this video. And there it is. So now I want to talk about the number one thing that confuses uh, people who uh, work with Google Sites, and it's the navigation. So right now it's set at automatic. If you decide to change this, how do you do it? Click on Edit Site Layout, and you will see there are two options, Sidebar, and you see how I, when I put my uh, clicker over the navigation button, this appears. I'm going to click on it. If you unclick this, it changes everything. Let's click OK. And, whoa, everything disappeared. Where did it go? you can now customize what you put on the sidebar. 
And you can see here there are some different options. You can actually get rid of the side bar animation if you want. And you can create things as a horizontal navigation. I want to warn you, horizontal navigation does not work with add automatically. You have to manually add horizontal navigation. So let's do that real quick. So we're going to close this. And now, how do you add uh, your custom navigation? You basically go and get edit site layout. And I'm going to click here. And I went a little bit quickly. I'll go back. And you see how when I clicked on it? It says edit horizontal navigation. Click on this. And here's the thing. It's hardly visible. Right down here where it says add page. Click add page. Go find what you want to add. So I already have uh, photography. I'm going to add... Sorry, I already have home. I'm going to add photography. And right now, it will show up as a parent. But I actually want it to be a child of home. So now I'm going to click OK. And so where did it go? Click Close. And there it is, right underneath it. OK, so the, the, the viewer of your website has to click on it. It's not as obvious. Some people prefer having their horizontal bar at the top like that. And it's very critical to remember whenever you uh, unclick, you know, show you really quickly under edit site layout. If you decide to make uh, your horizontal navigation non automatic, it will uh, change everything. So, whenever you post a page, you have to always go manually add it after. Okay, so let's just leave this here for a second. We'll go back to where the way it was. I'm going to create one page just so you can see. I'm going to create a page and we're going to call this audio page. All right, and we're going to put the page at the top level. All right, so that's the top level page. Let's see what happens. It doesn't show up. So we'll test. I'll save it. See if anything changes. It won't show up. How do I make it show up? I'll show you again. Hit site layout. So this shows up, click on it, click on this almost invisible part here, go find, uh, well, in this case, I want to add audio page. And just in case you don't realize, these arrows allow you to move it up or down. If I move it sideways, it becomes a child of home. So I don't want it to be a child. I'm going to click save, change that and save, and voila, it shows up. And that is a uh, basic how to set up your Google site and uh, keep in mind the navigation component. Thank you very much. My name is Mark Dubow. You can follow me at edtechvoice.com or on my YouTube channel, uh,